Yo, what's up guys, Diego here, and you can't imagine how much I was missing to do some videos, I was really really busy with my life with many things, uh, most of them uh, about college, but yeah, now I'm here with this battle, uh, I had it a long time ago, and when it finished, uh, I thought that it wouldn't be good to upload it, but then my opponent Blanyom uploaded his side and then I realized it was a really good battle, really close, so I decided to do my own version. So yeah, this is Underused tier, second generation, and we are going bo both going to lead with pretty common leads, I'm going to go with Nido Queen and my opponent with Electabuzz, I'm predicting the switch, so I went straight for the Ice Beam and he switches and send that Quagsire which takes a uh, really little damage from that uh, and yeah so I decided to put it asleep to, with the lovely kiss because Quagsire is a huge threat and yeah having it sleep is better for me and then I'm going to send my Slowbro because Slowbro can take physical hits all day and now I'm expecting him to send his Electabuzz, so I'm going to go with the Thunder Wave, and the prediction is correct, he sent back the Electabuzz, but uh, he had the Miracle Berry, so it's going to heal the status, I'm going to go with my Special Wall, which is Mr. Mime, and here Blanium is going to do something I wasn't expecting, he's going to go with a Thief, and get my leftovers, which is pretty bad because uh, yeah, Mr. Man doesn't have recover or any move that can recover health. So yeah, uh, losing its lefties is going to hurt it. Anyway, I'm going to be able to paralyze that uh, Electabuzz, which is really important for my team, as you're going to see later. And here he predicts my switch to Nido Queen. Go with the ice punch super effective and he gets the freeze <laughs> so yeah a uh, pretty bad turn for me uh, I'm just going to stay try to defrost but he's going to switch send his grand bull uh, Nido Queen still freeze so that means he will get a free uh, heal ball so yeah uh, now expecting the heal ball I'm going to do a harsh switch to quill flesh as he Hilbus recover his Quagsire from the sleep and Electabuzz from paralysis and I will set up my spikes here as he's going to attack with return my Quillfish can still take uh, two more hits so here I decided to stay go with the sludge bomb uh, try to do as much damage as possible yeah you know uh, <laughs> Quillfish goal is accomplished it's only to put the spikes so now I'm just going to fodder it and uh, yeah, just keep attacking with the sludge bomb, trying to get uh, the poison status on this uh, thing, which is really bulky. So yeah, finally I'm going to get that status, but he's going to take me down. So now I will be able to send my Arcanine to the field, and yeah, Arcanine can threaten a Grumble from this range with a Fire Blast. I'm just going to play safe and go with that move, but yeah, he's going to switch, send out, he, he's, he's going to reveal his own, uh, I, oh, I forgot the name, Quillfish, yeah, and Quillfish is going to take that Fire Blast pretty well, and now uh, he will be able to set his spikes, uh, I will take that opportunity to send my uh, Slower again, uh, because it can take uh, sludge bombs and yeah, surfs or hydro pumps. And here, uh, my opponent <laughs> did the same that I did with my own Queen Fleece, just uh, keep it as fodder and he tried to do damage. But yeah, unfortunately for him, uh, he's not going to get the poison status, and one psychic is going to be enough to take him down. So yeah. Uh, now my opponent is going to go with the Electabuzz again, uh, it's a hard place for me this now because I can't stay on his uh, electric type moves and I don't have a ground type other than Nidoqueen which is frozen, so uh, I'm just going to send Arcanine which is pretty bulky but yeah uh, with Thunder and the Spikes uh, it took a lot. 
but yeah, uh, now uh, I'm just going to go with Fire Blast. Um, and my opponent, I believe that no, he stayed. Unfortunately for him, he he missed that uh, thunder. And here with this Fire Blast, I'm going to get the burn. Uh, not a slice, but yeah, that's not going to be the case. Now he's burned, so I will just keep attacking with a Fire Blast. And now he's going to send Quagsire again, which is now uh, not sleeping thanks to his Scramble. And Fire Blast is going to miss. Uh, not that it mattered that much because uh, Quagsire is really bulky. So yeah, here I'm going to send my Slowbro, uh, he's going to go with an Earthquake. And uh, yeah, here on this part, uh, <laughs> we are just going to spam attacks, I'm going to spam Psychics, trying to get the special drop, special defense drop. And uh, he's just going to go with Earthquakes and try to take me down. And uh, here I'm going to get that special defense uh, drop, but now I need to rest this turn. So that's what I'm going to do, uh, his Earthquake is going to fall short from KOing uh, 14 HP for Slowbro and now uh, I'm sleeping. So yeah, uh, here, uh, well, I did some misplays this part of the game and my opponent is going to outplay me. First I want to send uh, Mr. Mine back with the spikes and the lack of leftovers, uh, I didn't uh, want to. So he managed to pull up a curse, and now I thought, okay, he's going to curse again, let's go with Mr. Mime and encore him. But he predicted me, went with the earthquake, and Mr. Mime went down. So yeah, that was a waste of one poke. Um, now I will have to send my my Slowbro again, uh, uh, wait for it to wake up and then start attacking. And the worst part is that uh, he got uh, left his recoveries all these turns. So yeah, uh, really really bad turns for me. So now my Slowbro is going to wake up, uh, attack with the Psychic, thanks to the special defense drop. Uh, it did a lot and now he's on my KO range, uh, I'm also faster because of the curse. So on this turn Quagsire is finally going to go down. So yeah, uh, well now my opponent is going to send his scramble. Uh, I thought that maybe I could leave one return at this point. I'm not, I was not sure, uh, I just decided to, to stay and try to rest. But as it's going to be revealed now, return is enough to KO me. So Slowbro went down, and now I'm going to send my Arcanon, which can outspeed Gramble. And yeah, with Fire Blast, uh, as I said, in this range, it's an easy KO. So yeah, uh, by the way, you should check my opponent's channel, I will leave a link in the description. He, as I said, made his own narration of this match and it's in Spanish so you should check it out uh, because yeah it's a really different point of view so uh, well uh, that Grumble went down he's going to send his Gliscor I'm just going to stay uh, attack with a Fire Blast Fire Blast is going to do a lot because yeah Gliscor is not the best defensive Pokemon uh, but yeah, now he's going to retaliate back with the Earthquake and he's going to get a critical hit and kill my Arcanine. I'm not sure if the crit matter or not, I believe it did because, uh, well, Gligar is not that strong and Arcanine is pretty bulky for a fire type. So yeah, anyway, here comes my Dodrio and you may be wondering why it has 1 HP and this is a thing that raised up in uh, my opponent's video in the comment section because yeah, from the bat go with the flail and well, uh, she's master, you probably know him so that, that wasn't fair because yeah, part of the strategy in flail uh, is using it at the right moment with endure but I don't know, I think it's fair because uh, you are in a great disadvantage entering the battle with 1 HP and at the same time uh, well the game allows you to do this so I don't think it's cheating so anyway 
Here he reveals his last Pokemon, a Kadabra. I wasn't expecting this because yes, this is an underused match and the not fuel evolved Pokemons are not clear where they are. I think that uh, some time ago in Smugan, Kadabra was in Borderline tier as well as Hunter. But yeah, anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, this was a really good game. Here, my Nidoqueen is going to defrost and take down that Kadabra. But yeah, uh, my opponent still has his last Pokémon, which is uh, that Electabuzz that is burned instead of paralyzed. So he will be able to take me down with one Ice Punch and finish the game here. So yeah, pretty close game. Uh, a really good one, my opponent uh, outplayed me many times, so he really deserved the match. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, it was a long time since I last uploaded one match, so uh, I hope I'm not uh, bad at narrating at this time. And yeah, uh, you can just comment on that, uh, leave your likes if you like the video, and we are seeing you next time guys, thank you very much for watching. Peace out.